You prefer David or me? You've got to start being marginally better looking. You've got to start being rude or aggressive. Nice to see you. See you, sir. Yeah, well, well, how are you? All right, we haven't seen you for some time. Yeah. You're still here? Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah, are you happy? Yeah, I'm happy. The last time we saw you, you were less than happy. Have you had time to reflect and maybe are you happy no, now? I, I didn't come because we had a meeting the, the same day uh, for this reason. But are you, are you brighter <laughs> and more optimistic is what I'm saying? I mean, you know, last time we heard you talk publicly, you were angry, you were frustrated. No, no, I'm, I'm not angry. I could be disappointed because uh, sometimes we don't do uh, good things, but uh, I'm not angry. Can I ask you something that might make you angry then? What, what's the truth in terms of Luis Suarez <coughs> in Manchester City? But it's not, it's not true this. It's not true, I don't know. For two weeks we talk about uh, Monaco, after Guardiola, after another manager. Now we talk about Suarez. After that we sell uh, Mario. But First of all, we have uh, a good team and we don't need to buy other players in general. Second time, we, we, we can buy Suarez or in this moment because we don't need, we have a four striker. And Suarez is a top player that he plays for Liverpool. So what do you think is happening here? You said Monaco, Guardiola. I don't know why. I don't know. Not at all? No, it's not true. No, but no, no, it's not true. I don't know because... Uh, we want to talk uh, about everything, but not. Uh, we talk uh, only two or three or four questions about the game. That is more important. But do you think people are trying to make life more difficult for you here? Is that what you're saying? But for me, it's not difficult. I'm used to have uh, this life always. I don't have any problems with this. But I don't understand why. Because uh, also, if we did some mistake, but we did some mistake like uh, other teams this season, we played only 11 games in Premier League, uh, four games in Champions League. The season is long. I can I try everything? Yes. You mentioned Mario before me. What's the situation there? Because clearly he didn't play. <coughs> and is everything all right? Uh, Mario didn't play because it was uh, my, my choice. Uh, I have uh, 20 players and uh, if uh, there is some players that don't work well, uh, they don't deserve to, to play. And Mario is like the other players. Don't change. So that was a punishment? No, 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 no. There were other players that worked better than Mario and they deserve to go on the bench or to play this. His agent said that you are like Mr. and Mrs. You are like a married couple. <laughs> no, no, no. Is that right? No, no, no. no, no. I, I, I love Mario like a guy like the other players, but uh, I'm a manager, he's a player, yeah. if uh, he doesn't work well, he'll not play. But do you like the other players, don't change nothing. No, but he, you give him chance upon chance upon chance and he keeps letting you no, down. No, but he's my player, he sometimes played well, sometimes played uh, not well, but uh, he's an important player for us, we, we don't think absolutely to serve him in general, absolutely. Last week, David sat there and said that you're in a very good position in the league, you're unbeaten. This David. He was very aggressive last week. <laughs> um, how, how happy? I mean, you, you've not played the same football as last season yet, but you're still two points off the top and no one's beaten you. No, no, we didn't, we didn't play like last year, because last year, after 11 games, we had uh, nine victory and two draw. It's correct. Uh, but uh, this year we had uh, a big problem with the uh, important players' injury. And... Uh, for this reason, I think, and also because in precision we didn't have all the team, uh, we had this problem, but this could be normal. Is this a tricky team to select with the game in midweek coming up because the Real Madrid game is important to you? Or which, one's, which one is yeah, more the important? The is important 
the tomorrow's game against Aston Villa. Uh, for us, it's important to beat Aston Villa tomorrow. And uh, if we beat Aston Villa, only if we will have a good attitude because it will be a, a, a tough game tomorrow. And after after tomorrow, we we will think about uh, Real Madrid. Injury wise. Injury? No, no. We recover. Uh, I think all the players. Uh, maybe some players are. Uh, are not ready to play like Jack that uh, worked three or four did three or four training session with us, but he's not ready to play. But it's important to record him and watch the other players. Can you take the mask off now? It's not a bad stuff. I learned it from you. <laughs> so everybody back now, obviously from international duty. Uh, how is everybody? How is Joe Hart? Because he had a little bit of criticism with the England game. I know the keeper. Sometimes can do a mistake. This is a normal. If the keeper do a mistake, uh, he can see the goal. If uh, and you can lose. If the striker uh, don't score a goal, maybe the game can finish in need. This is a, is a keeper life. Uh, but Joe is a top keeper uh, also. And I think that uh, Ibrahimovic can score against uh, every keeper. Is uh, because Ibrahimovic is. Uh, one of, for me, one of the first five strikers in the world. Could you have scored that goal as a striker? It was sort of quite special, the fourth goal, wasn't it? Sorry? Ibrahimovic's fourth goal. Yeah, but he, but he scored. For me, the best goal was the second goal. <coughs> but the fourth goal is incredible. <laughs> no, no with, with Joe and that goal and Joe's form this season, is that just one of those things? He's very mentally strong. He'll be, yeah, he'll yeah, be yeah, okay. Yeah. But if you decide to do a keeper, you should be very strong and very strange. If not, uh, <laughs> you decide to play like as, as a striker, <laughs> the keeper normally. Uh, so, so, but uh, for this reason, they are, they are also strong. Joe's strange. The keeper, all the keepers are strange. All the keeper. And apart from Joe, everybody else is now in good form ahead of the weekend after what was a great win last week. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I think that we did a good performance. Very good performance because Tottenham uh, is a strong team. Uh, I think that we played well and we deserve to win. And you saw Aston Villa and Manchester United last week. What did you take from that? What have you learned from that game? I, I, I didn't see I didn't see the game, but you know, uh, my opinion that Manchester United is uh, is the best team in England, and uh, also when they were tuned down, they can change everything in 20 minutes. Uh, but like us or like Chelsea, uh, this is uh, could be normal football. Roberto, how much of a problem is Edin Dzeko giving you at the moment in terms of getting the, into the side because his goal-scoring form is pretty impressive. I mean, uh, I hope that Edin uh, can score also when he starts the game, and uh, because he has everything to do this. Last year, did uh, did everything well, and uh, and I hope that maybe he can he can play well also when he start from start the game. And uh, I think that in this moment we miss him five six goals from the striker. Uh, I think that uh, was very important against uh, Tottenham, like against West Bromwich, uh, and the season is long. If Edin decided to play, he played. Do you think he's more effective at the moment coming from the men? I don't know. I don't know. Roberto, has Gail Clichy picked up an injury? Yeah, Gail had the problem uh, Sunday against Tottenham, he's back, uh, and uh, he started to train yesterday. And uh, I, I think that. Uh, Maybe he can play, he can play tomorrow. But with the with the set tomorrow morning. Are you not concerned at all? Injuries? No, no, no. Okay, guys. Um, Daily, can you please?